Let's make something that goes zoom. So in today's video I wanted to show you how I'm building this drivetrain for an upcoming build. This is a pretty simple system. I've got this gear reduction box I bought off of eBay. It's a 5 to 1 reduction and I'm using a Bosch Bulldog. This is a 36 volt drill. So I, it's very specific. I had to use a drill bit made for that drill. So I bought one that was bigger than the hole I needed, ground it down, and then I welded the drill bit into the uh, drive side of the gear reduction system. And this is kind of where I made my first mistake and I made a lot of them on this today. When I welded it, I thought I had it centered. I was not even close. There is a lot of wobble on that thing. So, not a lot I could do about it at that point. I just left it, and now I need to mount the wheels to this reduction system, so I need to put an axle through it. So what I did was I ground it down. The, the axle I had was just a touch too big, about a 64th too big. So I used my angle grinder with a 50 grit pad on it and just ground down as evenly as I could. And, uh, you know, I wanted to get it so it was really, really snug and tight. So I ground it down till it felt like it was going to fit. And then I stuck the axle in the freezer for 45 minutes and then figuring that would shrink up enough that I could pound it through. Well, it worked great at first and I got it to go about halfway in. And then it stopped. I could not get that thing to go in any further no matter how hard I hit it. So I just cut it off at the length I needed. I grabbed the leftover section, ground it down, and hammered it into the other side of the reduction system. Now I'm putting it in as hard as I can, just hammering it a little bit, and that's showing me where it's leaving some marks on the axle, showing where it's getting a snug fit, and then I just grind out those sections and then try the fit again. And again, it's important that this fits pretty well centered, so I'm taking my time and being careful. Now once I thought I had it right, I put a pencil mark how far it needed to go into the gearbox, and of course I could not get it in that far. So I threw my hands up in the air and went over and started working on the wheels. Now these wheels were purchased for this project uh, from one of the a tractor supply company, and, and the center of them is much larger than the axle. So I'm welding on these little uh, 3 16 uh, pieces of metal around the axle and then I'm just going to grind them down until the wheel fits right over the top of them and I don't have to grind it much just to knock some of the high corners off and then I can slide the wheel on and then I just weld the wheel right to the axle. Now this is pretty much where I leave it today it's a pretty simple system you know you just have the inside the in drivetrain and then the axle going through and I welded everything together so it should be it should be fine for what I need. And then of course I had to test it, so I screwed everything to a two by six basically, grabbed some string, wrapped it around the trigger on the drill and drove it around. And I was actually really impressed with its performance. I was able to ride this along yards and it, it had no issue with my weight. So you'll see this system in an upcoming build. Thank you very much for watching. Now if you found this interesting, uh, thanks, <laughs> give it a thumbs up. You know, not every day is a perfect day. Talk to you guys soon.